So let's start in child pose. Um, begin to find your way there and make it comfortable for you. Uh, you can close your eyes even right away. Trust that you kind of can find this devotional pose, also called balasana. And uh, hips to heels, that doesn't have to happen. You can spread your knees out really widely and just let your belly kind of spill. Arms long with palms down. Good morning, Sophie. You can also bring your arms back beside you, uh, palms facing up. Either way, um, create a child's pose that you can greet a sense of comfort, allowing your body permission to be a little heavier. Even if this is the first thing you've done today, can you immediately just go inward even if nothing's already happened today like not much you might be still in a dreamy state can you start to notice what that dreamy state is what your thoughts might be where your breath lives is it in your belly you can take really nice big belly breaths here in child pose so start to use your nostrils okay, i'm going to go ahead and mute everybody um, so breath in and out through the nose. And um, as you start to trace your breathing, know that this child pose is always a place for you. It is like a home base. Uh, you can come back here if you ever need to. It's a place of stillness. So notice how it feels to slow down and commit to it also a place to reset yourself. Um, throughout this hour, we're gonna breathe and move a lot. Some poses might feel amazing, really necessary in your body. Some things might feel a little bit challenging. We tend to store physical, even emotional uh, fatigue and stress, sometimes in like deep corners within us. So sometimes releasing, opening hips, shoulders, the twist, the spine, this can feel like a lot. Um, this doesn't, this is not meant to overwhelm you. Your body is powerful though, so don't be, don't be too hesitant to explore your depths, right? The, your capacity. Sometimes meeting resistance is where the true growth happens. Um, so you're always invited to challenge yourself. My words are always an opportunity for you. So you know you best, right? If you need child pose, you come back. Simple as that. Reset. Join again when you're ready. Um, so breath is number one. That's a non-negotiable, but uh, your exploration this hour, you make the most of it. Um, let's start with the breath together. So wherever you're at and you're breathing, find a slow exhale. Shift out all the air. And then a nice full inhale. Feel your belly immediately balloon. Let that breath climb up your rib cage, swirl all the way past your collarbones and your own throat. Open mouth, AJ. <sighs> Keep exhaling. And then this time through your nose, full fresh breath. HM. Those HM vibrational breaths, those HA ha, louder releases, they are always available to you. We love to breathe that way here um, at Yoga to the People. So you can always find a sense of relief. Okay, we're going to start with some subtle movement. So as you rock your forehead side to side, you can definitely keep your eyes closed, nothing to see yet. And as you rock forehead left to right, right to left, Feel that massage along your forehead, along that space between your eyebrows and unfurl your brow with this massage. And go slow, okay? All the way left, all the way right. You might even go hairline to hairline so that you feel the stretch start to open the hips a little bit. Nice. And if you haven't yet, start to spider crawl fingers forward so far forward. You immediately feel the lift of your shoulders and wrists. 
and even your armpits, feel them deepen and open. Great. From here, you can tent up on the fingertips. Start to pull in your low belly so that you can breathe length into your own spine. And it's almost like a tug of war, right? Hips down and back, fingertips more forward. Feel the stretch along your spinal column. And then begin to, let's take a breath here. Empty out a little air. Nice full inhale. Spider crawl fingers even maybe more forward. Reach in. Good. Now start to plant the palms. Tuck your toes underneath you and send your hips high and back for a moving downward dog. First inversion of the day. So go ahead and walk out your dog. Get a little comfortable moving your, your limbs and your joints and pedal it out. Maybe you bend one knee super deeply and feel the stretch along that opposite backside leg and then you switch it up. And if you're like, whoa, we're already in down dog, how is that so? Wake yourself up, bend both knees, try to kick your heels to your own butt, liven your body. These look nice. Down dog is our active home base, so sort of like child's pose, it's a home base, but it's active every time. So notice how you can see your feet. Uh, between the feet distance, it's just like your head. It's only about hips width distance. And your hands are really similar. So you can check those out for a second, spread every finger wide, and then drop your head again. Good. Shoulders away from ears. Feel the press of the undersides of your knuckles. Good. And then continue to create an L shape between thumb and index finger. Try to send your hips a little higher. That looks Good. Can you bend your knees a little bit just for this first sound dog? That was it, James, so that you send your hips more towards where back wall and ceiling connect. James, start to bring your thumbs a little closer towards each other. Your hands might be really kind of wide apart. All right, cool. Let's take a breath here, empty out the air. And then a new invigorating inhale so that you can memorize the shape, the one that's here and now. Let it fly. <sighs> Great. Bend your knees super deeply. Take at least four or five steps to arrive hanging heavy in your forward fold. So you can go slow. Right, tiptoe forward, top edge of the mat, and just drop the head. Really let your head, you know, maybe move or rock side to side. Bend the knees, especially if you feel any, uh, like a sensation in the lower back that is anything that's like discomfort, you're going to want to keep your knees bent in your forward fold. Good. And then you can grab opposite elbows. Love your options. Good, Sasha. Either in front of your own shins or maybe behind the, the calves. You can also interlace fingers behind your neck spine and really just let the head drop. Think about your head pouring out of that bowl of your pelvis. Let's measure out our inner hip width distance. It's essentially two fists between your feet. So create that capital letter H. It's literally eight knuckles between the two inner arches of the feet. Beautiful. From here, inhale, half lift. Hands on shins or thighs, please not the knees. Whatever your hands are reaching into, reach away from that point of contact with your crown of head. Peer about two feet in front of your yoga mat, chin away from throat. Pull in your low belly. Nice, Coco. Full inhale. Exhale, let it drop forward fold. <sighs> head heavy. We'll do that uh, paired with breath. Inhale, half lift. Send your shoulders away from your ear flaps. Exhale, forward fold. <sighs> Great. Now reach your arms forward until you arrive standing, mountain pose. Stand on your feet, close your eyes. There's not much to see here, and I hope a bit more to feel for. With eyes closed, feel your feet, the ones that got you here, and that continue to get you everywhere you're going. Continue to ground you and feel the way you can root with your feet. It's a root to rise sensation. So feel those three corners, basically the ball of the little toe, ball of the big toe, center portion of each heel pulling down. And then go ahead, lift up on your kneecaps, engage your quad muscles, pull in your low belly so that you can drop your tailbone slightly, keep the pelvis nice and neutral. Another way to drop the tailbone is try lifting your lowest set of ribs up 
oh, or your, I'm sorry, your hips towards your lowest set of ribs. That was a beautiful adjustment. And then as you reach your arms a little higher, activate through your fingertips. Fingers alive, spiral pinkies inward and slide your shoulders down your back. Every inhale, grow tall through the fingertips and every exhale, keep rooting firmly down those three corners of your feet. Notice how the breath moves here, where it's moving. Maybe slow it down a little bit. All right, begin to flutter your eyes open. Send your hips forward. Inhale, reach up, grow three feet taller, start to look slightly back. And then on an the exhale, dive forward and down. You can bend the knees on the way down. Good, forward fold. You're gonna put those motions together. Inhale, stand tall, mountain, but through the back bend. So send your heart high to the ceiling above you and maybe you reach a little bit back with hips forward for, to support counterbalance. Exhale to release. And you got it. So now take a couple on your own. Every inhale glides you up, 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 up. Every exhale floats you right back down. And just continue to connect with the breath. Move your body, warm up your spine and ride the wave of your breathing. There's not a right number, a wrong number to do here, but we will meet up in a forward fold eventually. Just know that once you find your forward fold, immediate release, head heavy. Maybe that slight bend of the knees. Maybe you pull your, your belly more towards your side. Right. All right, let's find a half lift to reset. Inhale, flat back, half lift, chin away. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your palms and step back into a high plank. Upper push-up plank, we'll pause here. Um, just like in down dog, keep your fingers spread really widely, but do stack your shoulders atop your elbows, atop your wrists. Now activate your legs, kick your heels back as you Pull up on the fronts of your thigh muscles so that you use your legs. Looks great, Alakshi. Good. Now everybody try to anchor your tailbone slightly down towards the heels, kicking back as you slide your chest two inches forward. And we're still here, I'm aware. So keeping your hips on with your shoulders is super important. If you have a sinking sensation, the lower back, you could always use your knees. Support yourself. All right, we're going to move through the elements of our flow. Start by leading with the heart. Inhale, push them out away. Exhale, lower halfway or even less. All right, elbows, skin, ribs. Inhale, up dog, press into hands, tops of feet, slide your shoulders up and back, open your throat, thighs off the ground, beautiful. Exhale, retuck, toes, hips, high head, low, down dog. And those are really nice. Those four motions, beautiful reset button for your breathing. So two cycles of breath, four motions, beautiful reset button for the spine. We use it a lot. For now, inhale, slide your right leg just halfway up and back. Eject your heel out of your own hip crease. Good. Feel the back of your right leg muscles stretch and lengthen. Looks nice, Annie. And then reach your right leg a little higher for a three-legged dog. Bend your right knee and open up your hip any which way that feels good to you. I recommend keeping your, the weight of your head nice and heavy the weight evenly in your both palms. But if you'd like, you can open up through the ankle, make little baby circles. These are great choices, basically free movement. So feel your body moving. Open up through the right rib cage even. Cool. One more inhale to slide your right leg up and back. Use an exhale to step your right foot through close to your right hand. You can boot it up there if it didn't arrive there, yeah. And then drop your left knee down, untuck your left toes for a low lunge. Nice. Keep your right knee essentially right on top of your right ankle and start to interlace your fingers on top of your right thigh. Gently shove your knee away from you. Try to think of a proud, open chest and relaxed shoulders. So if your shoulders feel really strong here, you can try to get your elbows towards your ribs and actively kind of shove your thigh away. But if that feels like too much, um, a bend in each elbow is fine. 
Good, we're gonna build a supported back bend to open the left hip flexor. Bring your hands to the low back. There's a perfect nook right where your kidneys are. If you bring the tops of your fingertips to graze the top of the booty, let your pinkies touch. Exactly, these look nice. Elbows a little closer together if that feels okay. Now keep scissoring inner thighs. Gently look up, drop your head in between your shoulder girdle and support the opening of your left hip flexor by engaging your left glute. Think tailbone down, but lift pubic bone to navel. All right, continue to look up. You might trace a line along the ceiling towards the back while one more breath. And then listen carefully, draw your head up to neutral, place your left hand down and reach your right arm up for a gentle twist. Left hand close to your right foot so that you can find more length along your spine. Feel the twist in the middle of your spine. These look great. Good, pull in your low belly so that you can breathe more expansiveness across your chest. This is nice, but keep that right knee tracking on top of the right ankle. Good adjustment. Okay, give it one more inhale to look up, open to the right ribs. Exhale, right hand down. Tuck your back toes under. Step your right foot back and try out your vinyasa flow. Upper to lower push up, up dog to down dog. Nice, Francesca. Good up dog. And then let's open through left side. On your inhale, reach your left leg only halfway up and back. Flex the toes to the nose for a second to really feel the left leg stretch, the back of it. And then point the left toes, reach it higher, higher, a little higher even. you got space. Open up the left side body. If you'd like, you can do similar things or different things. It's your body and you know you best. Make choices that feel good. Breathe. Get a little creative as you carve out the air with your left leg and toes, wiggle toes, snap, crackle, pop. Great. Okay, one more inhale, left leg super high. Use the exhale to step your left foot all the way through. And then, all right, back knee down, untuck the back toes, low lunge on the other side. So this time we're gonna focus on opening the front of your right hip as you interlace your fingers on top of your left thigh. Not at the, it's not on the knee, it's right like basically below it or above it, however you wanna look at that. And then as you gently send your knee away from you, relax the shoulders, drop tailbone, the pubic bone to navel, scissor inner thighs. Now your back foot is actually working here, press actively into the top of the right foot, the shoelace portion to continue to coax that scissoring of the inner thighs, the engagement of your back right glute. Good, from here, a uh, supported back bend, hands to the low back, use the hands to gently send your hips down and forward. Hands at the low back, at pinkies touch, fingertips graze the top of the bum, start to walk your elbows closer together. You got it, nice. And then maybe drop your head between your shoulder blades, see something on the ceiling, now open through the front of your throat. This is a heart opener, focus on your chest. Almost like you could keep reaching your heart even higher. Use one more inhale to look up, stretch that front of the right hip, maybe look a little back. All right, exhale, head back to center, right hand down, left arm up, it's that twist on the other side. So notice how it feels here. Keep your left knee tracking on top of your left ankle. It helps to really dig into that left big toe mound to keep the knee tracking on the ankle. Beautiful, now roll the chest open. See the back of the left hand. That looks great, James. Yeah, something on the hand. Maybe it's your fingernails. If you're wearing a ring, your knuckles, just see it. One more inhale to open through left side rib cage. Exhale, left hand down. Tuck your back toes under. Step your left foot back. Vinyasa, well. High to low push up. Up dog to down dog. Great. Come down dog. Empty out some air. Push anything stale out, 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 out. A full inhale, something new, new energy, clean, fresh. Let it fly. <sighs> Use the next inhale to send your right leg high up and back. Listen carefully, exhale knee to nose. It's a cat-like spine, so chin to throat sensation, kind of like you're choking yourself off. Inhale, right leg high up and back. Exhale, knee to nose again. 
pull your low belly in so that you can feel the broadness across your back body. Good, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, last one, knee to nose, maybe even forehead, hold it for three. Now try to flex your toes towards you, think heel to butt for two. So on one, you can place your right foot in between your hands. Awesome, really good. Rotate back, heel down, rise, warrior one. Arrive with the next house, sit well. Nice, and then as you track your front knee on top of your front ankle, that back leg is a super powerful force here. It's, it's a strong place to, to feel a lot of the effort. Immediately feel the stretch in the back of your left calf muscles. And if you can't square off the hips so excessively here, you can always toe heel right foot more right, or even just point your back toes to a 45 degree angle. Perfect. Yeah, so that you can encourage left hip forward, right hip back. The hips that we've opened, now they're nice and square towards the front of your space. Start to grow as tall as possible from the waist up, like mountain, right? Feel the heart rise as the tailbone anchors down. Energy through the fingertips, spiral pinkies in, relax your shoulders down your back. Okay, eyes open, we'll build a baby back then from here. Inhale, chest up, chin up, throw it up, look up, little bit back. Exhale, two hands down, step your right foot behind you, take your flow, upper to lower push up, up dog, down dog. And then from downward dog, inhale, left leg, real high, up and back. On an exhale, use your core. It's strong, knee to nose. Hollow out the torso here. Good. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale again, knee to nose, maybe forehead, pull the low belly in, breathe across the back. Inhale, left leg high. Last one, we're gonna hold it. Knee to forehead, just pull in the low belly and try to stack your shoulders atop top your wrist. Flex the toes, think, feel the back glute for three two, and then one. Place left foot in between the palms. Spin your back heel down. All bodies rise. Warrior one. You can close your eyes because guess what? Tr you can trust your body. You know where you are. There's not going to be so much to see, but a bit more to feel for. So as you feel your back leg as a power source, right, that back right leg, you can try lifting up the inner arch of your back right foot so that you wedge the pinky side edge of your foot down. From here, steer, right hip slightly forward, tug, left hip slightly back. Really nice adjustment. And continue to grow tall through the waist up. Feel a lift behind your heart. Strong arms, pinkies in, shoulders relaxed down and back. Okay, with your eyes open, inhale, chest up, chin up, look up. Take yourself slightly back. Exhale, hands down. Left foot back, take your flow. And this is yours. One breath, one movement. Pair each breath with emotion. I suggest you keep the knee to nose core work, but it's your breath, it's your movement, it's your life. You live it to a, its fullest capacity. So in these moments, it's not really about the alignment cues I gave you. It's not really about how it looks. You can kind of unstick yourself of your perception of how warrior one looks and really move deeply into how it feels. So it can become more of a, of a possibility. You're, you're almost limitless in these one breath, one movements. You go at your own pace, right? And you just explore absolute exploration, absolute freedom. Warrior one, right and left side. And it can be simple, just like that. Or maybe you added in those need to know. I like these options. Eyes closed is a good way to challenge the balance, kind of challenge the, the perception again and to move more inward. Always feel free to keep the eyes closed. And we'll meet up and down dog. Some of you have already made your way there. So if you're moving, please keep moving. I'm not trying to rush you. But if you are in down dog, remember reset. Spread your fingers so very wide. Imagine that you could drop the crown of your head, almost like it could reach your yoga mat below you so that you can send your chest more towards your thighs so that you can almost broaden between your shoulder blades. 
You might even feel the breath right there between the shoulder blades. Wherever you are, uh, let's connect with the breath. It's available, of course. M-C-S-H. Feel the bottom of the exhale. Now big inhale. Hold it. H-A. Ha. Awesome. From downward dog, inhale, bend your knee. Listen, you got options. You can step or bend your knees so, 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 so much that you lift your hips really high, peek forward and try to hop. Love it. All the way towards your hands. Nice hop, Annie. Good, Amelia. Hang heavy, hang heavy. Brrr, forward fold. From here, uh, measure out hips with distance again. Two fists between your feet. That capital letter H. Inhale, floss out your spine. Half lift. Good. Send the crown of your head forward. Shoot your tailbone back. Spine like a tabletop. Imagine a very full glass of water right there on the spine. Good, Rick. One more sip of air. And then let it go. <laughs> Hang heavy. Keeping your feet where they are. Inhale, hips low. Arms high. Chair pose. Feel the fire. First moment. Good. Keep the weight primarily in your heels. Good. So, so much so you could probably see most of your toes in front of your kneecap. Really nice alignment here. Now create some length in your spine. Imagine you could knit your lowest ribs in towards each other, knitting them like a corset. But as you pick up your own heart, you can relax your shoulders down your back. Nice, Sasha. And then as you stay low, some fire might start to enter the thighs. Pretend there's a yoga block right in between your kneecaps. And start to spread that fire to the outer thighs. Engage your IT band as you reroute the pinky side edges of your feet down. Good. Stay low. Another inhale to lift up through the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Immediate release. Staying heavy. Just for a breath. So, yeah, that little yoga bop. I love it. Nice. <laughs> Good choices. All right. Inhale, hip low. Arms high. Chair pose. Right back. Utkatasana which in Sanskrit means fierce and awkward. So find a way they can get a little fierce inside of your chair pose. Yeah, certainly with the fire and the thighs, the lifting through the arms. If you feel like you have to bend your elbows here, you can actually lower your arms more so that you have straight arms. And if you can, you can lift them all the way biceps by ears. So continue to relax the shoulders. We're not really using the shoulders. So reach armpit through fingertip. Fierce and awkward, remember, so we're going to take a lion's breath here. Stay low, reach high, exhale out your air. You can close your eyes, big inhale. Everyone stick out the tongue. Good, I think I heard you somehow. And then one more breath here and now. Exhale, forward fold, let it go. Immediate release. Keep that sense of release as you separate your feet a little bit wider. Almost to the width of your yoga mat. Nice wide stance. Now bend your elbows and interlace your fingers at your lower back. And it's a shoulder stretch. You can keep your knees really, really bent as you drop your head. And if your shoulders feel pretty strong, secure, start reaching your fingers up towards the ceiling. You might even reach them forward towards the front of your space. Important to keep the head heavy. And then if you'd like to feel the stretch along the backs of your legs, along the hamstrings, you might explore bending one knee a little deeper and then the other one. And just notice how it feels. Breathe in between the shoulder blades, let the head drop. Notice what feels heavy, what feels light. A sense of exploration, really lovely. Okay, one more breath. And then gently hands float down. They might graze the mat below you. Inhale, half lift, a little bit of a weirder, wider base of support, still chin away. Exhale, forward fold, plant palm, step back, vinyasa flow, reset. Back and down dog, clean it up, hips high, head low. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, use knee to nose, step it all the way through in between your hands. Beautiful, rotate back, heel down, rise. Warrior one, carve the air, your warrior two. Right arm forward, left arm back. Nice long stances, great adjustments. Good, Sada. And then continue to keep your right knee tracking forward on top of your right ankle and your back foot totally rooted. 
Notice if you're gripping your toes, try to feel your heels root down, good, and bend your right knee one more inch. So that one day, bottom of right thigh, parallel to that mat, that floor below you, beautiful adjustment keep. Now you can coax left hip like an inch down, so you can urge your right hip forward and up, super reach strong through the fingertips. So instead of using the shoulders, we're actually relaxing the shoulders, hugging muscles, around the arm bones, correct? So reach armpit through fingertip, middle finger away from middle finger, get so active. Okay, try to freeze your hips, keep your arms really active, and then go ahead, see your right hand, flip it so it's facing upwards. Inhale, reach forward, exhale, side body stretch, reverse warrior, good. So as you reach up, it's more important to reach up before you reach back. Your left hand has options above or below back knee, but please feel the arc of right body from your hip through your fingertips. Good, so stay low in the lunge. So you came out of it a little bit. Nice adjustment, good Amelia. And then continue to reach strong through fingers. Inwardly rotate your right armpit. Think shoulder away from the ear, slightly dial the pinky down. Good, one more inhale, feel the side body stretch. Reach up, reach back. Exhale, cartwheel two hands down. Step right foot back, your flow. Remember, thighs off the ground and upward facing dog. I see you. Nice. Good, James. All right. Let's do left side. On an inhale, swing your left leg high up and back. Quietly, knee to nose, step your left foot through. Beautiful. Rotate back heel down, rise, warrior one. Use the exhale to get so broad, warrior two, left arm forward, right arm back. And stay low. Point your left knee forward. Start to reseal the pinky side edge of your back right foot. Yeah, right hip a little more down. So left hip, move forward and up. And as you stay low, you reach your arms apart. Feel the power reaching in so many directions. Tailbone drop, it's down, down, down. Crown of head, reach it up. Fingertips active in both directions. So equally reaching forward as you reach back. And notice if there's some kind of voice inside your head that's like wondering or telling you when it might be time to move on. And instead of listening to that voice, trust that you can stay for another cycle of breath and start to feel the power of your body, right? You don't have to find by that voice inside of you. Okay, see the left hand. Go ahead, flip it. Inhale to reach forward and then side stretch. Up, 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 little bit back, reverse warrior. Peaceful warrior. Nice. Everyone stay low in the lunge on this side. So good. Feel the arc of left side body from hip through fingers. Feel your left side rib cage expanding, like fingers on a hand. You might even feel the stretch in the intercostal muscles, the muscles that live and work between the ribs. Really beautiful. Keep that left arm straight. Nice, Sophie. One more inhale. Reach up. Stretch back. Exhale. Cartwheel. Two hands down. Step left foot back. Your flow. Your final one. Breath one. Movement. So warrior. One, two. Reverse. Right side. Left side. A flow in between, particularly with these three warriors, you could create somewhat of a dance of this experience. Eyes closed, limitless, right? Move your body. Every breath gets a movement, every movement gets a breath. And with your eyes closed, and as you express yourself in this dance, in your practice, you might even create color through these movements that are so unique to you, right? You cultivate your experience, the colors, they might switch, pop in and out with eyes closed. Sometimes I, I create new color, a different enmeshing of orange and teal. Or, um, it's really hard to imagine new colors, right? Because they seem to always be something that already existed mixed together. So see if you can explore new sensation in your body as you explore these motions. They're beyond just positions you're creating. It's, it's really an experience you're having. The side body stretch, right? The core work to get your foot all the way through. And these sensations are reminders of how good you're doing, right? You're doing good work for your body, your body for you. Eventually, we'll meet up and down dog. And this time when you get there, 
trust that you, you've gotten to know it. You're a down dog. So can you simply focus on one thing? Perhaps it's uh, getting your hips a little bit higher. Imagine you could spread your sitting bones in down dog. So you can tailbone widen away from the crown of your head. Empty out some air. Full inhale. Each arm. Good from down dog, drop down to your knees. We're meeting up on all fours, tabletop position. So palms right underneath the shoulders, knees right underneath the hips. Good. On an inhale, drop your belly, arch your spine, lift your chin, open your throat, cow tilt. Exhale, curl in, cat spine, chin to throat, middle back, send it up. Inhale, drop belly, open the front of your chest, cow. Exhale, curl in, cat. Sort of like free movement, find a couple rounds on your own. Notice how we're opening both front side of the heart and the cow tilt, and then back side of the heart and the cat spine. So driving your heart into two directions. Try to feel for it. Really nice. Let's meet up in a neutral spine. So it's not a back bend, it's not a rounded spine, it's a neutral spine. Look one foot in front of your fingertips and pull in your low belly. So chin's a little off the throat, good. On your next inhale, send your right arm forward, extend your left leg back, spinal strengthening. Nice, immediately point your right thumbnail up. Keep your bicep as close to your ear as possible, but it's an inward rotation of your left inner thigh. So drop the left hip a little down. And you can make a choice, maybe point or flex the left toes, not so, so important right now, but really stretch fingers from toes if you're flexing or pointing. Get a little longer, really good. One more inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee, knee to elbow, little bit of core work, good. Inhale, find the length. Use the inhale to extend fingers from toes. Use the exhale to curl on in, elbow to knee, knee to elbow. Look at your belly button. Inhale, arm forward, leg back that long. Exhale, last one. Elbow to knee, knee to elbow. Squeeze it tight, tight, tight like a fist. Three, two, and then on one, arm forward, leg back. Keep the leg lifted. Swing your arm around to the back. Get your foot. Yeah, either the inside or the outside edge. Nice. Once you got your foot, kick into your hand. All right. Now feel your glute working as you kind of engage that left glute. Beautiful, Kate. Keep your throat open. Maybe slightly lift your chin. Kick actively into the hand and start to roll open the chest. Keep kicking, point the toes for a three, two, and one. Right arm forward, left leg back, get long, inhale. Exhale, hand down, knee down. Immediately use the next inhale to reach. This time left arm forward, right leg back. Left thumbnail pointed up so that your shoulder can relax in its own socket and make a choice with those back toes. Please don't forget about what's rooted here. So spread the right fingers wide and keep your left shin gluing down into the mat. Okay, another inhale to get so long. Left fingers, right toes, more space. Exhale, elbow to knee, knee to elbow. Squeeze it tight, good Francesca. Inhale, arm forward, leg back, super long. Extend, use the exhale, elbow to knee, knee to elbow, look at the belly button. Inhale, arm forward, leg back. Last one, use the core, it's strong. Elbow to knee, knee to elbow. Feel your middle back rise for a three. Belly up in a two, and then one. Arm forward, leg back, reach. Left arm, swing it around to the side and go capture your foot. Nice, and then try to actively use your glute. Right, you're kicking toes, kick them away from you. It's an arch in the spine, so pull in your low belly to support it. Beautiful, and feel the rotation of the shoulder. All right, keep kicking away. Think chin level, point the toes for a three. That's so good, nice, James. Keep kicking, two, use the glute, and one. Arm forward, leg back, get long, extend. Nice, hand down, knee down, right away. Tuck the toes, hips high, head low. Down dog. If you want to pedal out your knees for a moment, I get it. Go ahead and then clean it up. All right, we got one last little push of the hour, but you uh, got to get to the top of the mountain, right? We can't measure the height of the mountain until we get to the top. 
and you didn't just fall at the top of the mountain, you climbed here. So, all right, we'll get there together. You got the strength. Inhale, right leg, high up and back. Exhale, step your right foot through all the way in between your palms. Spin your back heel down. Lift your belly off your thighs for a moment and then shoot your arms back behind you. Power lunge. Nice entrances. Palms face down here, right? Already feel your shoulders. They've been working hard for you. Start to gather them towards each other. So think pinkies closer together, higher. Beautiful. Nice, Amelia. And then, yeah, left hip a little bit back, or left hip forward, right hip back here, like in Warrior One. Now interlace your fingers and create a fist so that you can uh, kind of squeeze your shoulders behind you as you open your throat. So crown of head away from tailbone. Nice, big inhale. Fill up your chest. Use the exhale to extend your arms forward. Extended power lunge, good. Biceps by the ears. Long line of energy from the sole, the back foot through the fingertips. Empty out some air. Inhale, rise, warrior one. Exhale, bloom wide, warrior two. Right arm forward, left arm back. Good landing. All right, from here, straighten your right leg. Everybody bring your back left foot in at least 12 inches. It could be more than a foot. Okay, great. Now point your back left toes to a 45 degree angle, which is the upper left corner of your mat. Both legs straight, arms active. Inhale, bump, two hips back. Exhale, tilt, triangle. Right hand to the inside of your right shin, left arm up. Nice. Now the idea here is not touching the floor because we don't want to sink into the hips. You actually kind of want to reach away from the floor in, an, in a way. So that as you open through your chest, try to stack your shoulders, see the backside of your left hand, shoot energy out of your left fingertips. Nice. Now try to roll the chest more open. Maybe lean your chest a little back like you depress your spine against some kind of wall behind you. Give it one more inhale. All right. Exhale. Switch your hands. Left hand to the inside of right foot. Right arm up. Revolve triangle. You can bring your back left foot in even more if that helps you. Beautiful twist. Nice cocoa. And if you can, stack your shoulders here. Nice. Beautiful. As you start to swerve your left rib cage underneath your right rib, try to stack your shoulders. Super dig into the ball mounds of your feet. Good. Give it one more inhale to roll open through the ribs. Exhale, two hands down. Now check out your placement. Start to bend your right knee deep, deep, deep. Tense up on your right fingertips. Place your right fingertips in front of your right big toe and launch your left leg up. Ardish and Drasana, balancing half moon. Opening the hips, the heart, the arms, just like warrior two. So with your right fingertips down and your left arm up, balance is a real thing. Yeah, you got it. Start to open through chest to the left side of your space though. That's it. It's going to help you probably to tuck your right butt under your left butt and do something with the kicking left toes. Flex, point them, engage the left leg. Great. Beautiful. One more inhale to roll the chest broad and open. Exhale, two feet together, forward fold. I know. Hang heavy. Let it go. Okay, inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, plant your palms, step back, vinyasa flow. Remember, it's a reset button, this flow every time for your spine, your breathing. You got a left side to explore. Right? We're now climbing down that mountain. You got to be careful on the way down, right? Use your strength, don't just run. Every sensation, feel for it along the way. Inhale, left leg high up and back. Exhale, step your left foot all the way through. Spin your back heel down. Shoot, arms back behind you. Power lunge. Good. Reach your crown of head away from your tailbone. And then this time, try to think scoot. Right hip a little bit more forward. Left hip, tug it back. Beautiful adjustments. Feel the pinky side edge of your back foot root you down. Strong back leg. Now walk your pinkies higher and closer, higher and closer, higher and closer. Gather your shoulder blade. Punch a hole in the back wall behind you as you open your collarbones. Big and how. Exhale, reach the arms forward. Extended power lunge. Strong line of energy. Empty out a little air here. Enliven your fingertips. Inhale, up you go, warrior one. Exhale, bloom wide, warrior two. Okay. 
Now, as you straighten your left foot, left leg here, bring your back right foot in, point your right toes that 45 degree angle, right, upper right corner this time of the mat, two legs straight, keep your arms active, inhale, bump hips back, exhale, tilt, left hand down, right arm up, triangle. So again, you don't have to reach into the floor. If you bring your left hand to your left shin, you allow your chest to open. No sinking into the right hips here. See if you can almost feel your outer hips opening, especially along the outer right hip. And as you look up, active arms, right? See something on the back of the right hand, a knuckle, a nail, thumb, energy out of the right fingertips. All right, one more inhale to reach up, open through the right ribs, switch, exhale, right hand down, left arm up, revolve triangle. You can bring your back foot a little bit to the side if that helps you roll your chest open. Beautiful adjustments here. Now, as you try to perch the shoulders on top of each other, maybe you look up, include the next spine, and continue to feel the length in the spine. Try to twist along the middle upper spine. Pull the low belly and breathe across the chest. One more inhale. Good. Exhale, two hands down. Good, check out your foot, the left foot. Now bend the left knee, tent up on your left fingertips, and as you're ready, launch your right leg up, reach your right arm up, half moon. And as you open through your chest, your hip, your arms, you can, if you have something below, you could always grab onto it with your left hand. But I'd say start by trying to just go for it, right? Balance is always gonna move kind of like the breath. And if you fall, you just come right back in again, right? Humans fall, but yogis just get right back up into it. The wobbles are you building strength. So instant forgiveness if you fall, then come right back into it. Think left butt under right butt, roll the chest open. You might even look up gorgeous. One more breath. Exhale, two feet together. Forward, fold, hang heavy, shake it loose. All right, inhale, half lift, flat back, chin away. Exhale, forward fold, plant your palm, step back, flow. Really nice work here. We're going to keep uh, moving with the hips, slowing down a little bit into half pigeon. Um, you've worked your hips a whole lot, so you won't be here for, for so, so long. So from down dog, let's get into it. Inhale, right leg high up and back. Exhale, bend your right knee, send your right knee towards your right wrist. And then back leg is long behind you. Take a moment to, to feel your hips kind of squaring off. If you're feeling really tender in your right kneecap, you can do figure four on your back. And um, you can always ask me, right? Raise your hand, wave at me. I'll tell you what that looks like. And it, you could also just flex your right toes towards your right knee to protect it. From here, you might relax your torso lower down, bend each elbow a little bit, and close your eyes. Slowing down, such a transition, right, from all that movement. So how can you support yourself here and kind of make the most of this experience, this half pigeon? And it is by doing less. I will offer that that's often really hard to do, right? You're not checking off boxes. I'm not going to feed you all these alignment cues, so what will you do instead? And wherever your brain goes is a part of your experience, right? You might have some amazing plans or thoughts here. I often do. First moments, yeah. But then see if you can kind of tune out that productive portion of your brain and start to feel fully for where your breath resides. Kind of like in child's pose as you started tuning into your breath. Notice where, it's, where it is here and now and how you can... Start to slow it down, especially the exhale. We're going to breathe fully here in half pigeon. Slower exhales also help you cultivate the ability to respond in an intuitive nature versus instantly reacting. So practice that, especially here, so much so that you can like kind of develop that skill off your yoga mat. Focusing on the breath, slowing down the exhale, a really good way. Let's try one together. 
slow exhale, SH. Once you get absolutely empty, contract your abdominals. Keep your lips sealed. Full inhale through the nose. Close the back of your throat. HM, hum it out. Slow. Two cycles of breath on your own. Full cycles, which means you need an exhale to finish before the inhale happens. the awareness with your breath. And then with your eyes closed, you don't really need them here. Keep your pupils resting. You can plant your palms and trust that you can pick up your torso. Move slowly, intentionally. As you pick up your own heart, you might sit into your right hip for a second and then go ahead, tuck those back toes under, send your right leg back towards your left leg, optional vinyasa flow, or just wiggle out your legs a little bit. Feel the blood circulating again in the right leg. And then from downward dog, we will set up the other side. So from down dog, inhale, swing your left leg high up and back. Exhale, bend the left knee and send the left knee towards the left wrist. You have options. You can flex your left toes towards the knee to help protect it. But don't force anything here, right? So it might feel like a lot, right? But the feeling are those little pockets that I mentioned earlier, those kind of hold some things deep inside of us. Maybe it's stress or, or emotion. And this deep hip opener, you might feel more. And see if you can just feel fully. You have that permission here, especially... Um, as we slow down, right, we're heading towards the end of class. So you could start like um, just investing in, in the trust that you've done a lot and that you can do less. You can feel a little bit more, not even using your brain. So if you're thinking a lot, because sometimes the brain gets so active, that monkey mind when the body is still, see if you can... Just bring your focus right into your breathing, the exhales and the inhales. Um, as it was Mother's Day yesterday, I was thinking about what to do for my mom, you know, so far away. And we had been talking a lot lately and she's frustrated because like, I guess, you know, memory, long-term memory was kind of just been more difficult for her to remember things. She's writing more things down. Just a, you know, aging process, very natural to everybody. It doesn't mean anything. Um, and I think she's getting a little frustrated. I wrote her a card and uh, just reminded her of a simple thing that I'll remind you guys, that the heart manages over 75 trillion cells. It's the electric magnetic center of the body, emanating thousands and thousands more electricity and magnetism than the brain. So it's pretty beyond intuitive, right? And there's not really a word for how intuitive the heart really, really is. So I don't know what a word would be for how intuitive the heart is. And just cultivating this way to feel and your generosity and how you continually use your heart to, to love yourself, to love people around you, and, and also receive love so that you can give it. Um, this my mom embodies all the time. So I just reminded her of all that. And, uh, yeah, it's my theme for right now. Let's take a breath together. And the empty, empty, empty. Through the nose, full inhale. Each of Feel your heartbeat. Where is it? In your chest, fingertips. Feel the little pulses in your temples. And then as you slowly make your way out, it's slow, deliberate motion. Nothing rushed. We'll meet up in our final downward dog. You can take a flow if you'd like. In our final down dog, guess what? You get to mess it up a little bit less to fix, right? You get to bend the knees, feel your body, feel the backs of your legs, your hips, your head, drop the head. 
And then as you kind of play around with this final down dog, we'll clean it up just to connect. Right, heels a little lower, hips a little higher. Feel the length along your spine. Spread your fingers wide. One more breath. And then lower down to the knee for camel. Knees are hips width distance. As we are slowing down, this is pretty much the last major pose. So uh, invest yourself fully. Uh, bring your hands to your low back, exactly where we had them at the beginning with that low lunge, right? Pinkies touch, fingertips grace, top of bum. And then use the connection to send your hips a little forward and start to climb upwards with your eyes. So everything's got to go up before it goes back. So start to lift your nose, your chin, your throat. And then as you start looking up, you might look back, but continue to send your heart as high as possible, right? Like you could paste the imprint of your heart on your ceiling. Really nice. One more breath. And then hands to low back to support your journey upward. Subtle hips to heel. Heroes pose. It's a simple seat. Make it as simple as you need it. Could be cross-legged too. And then just sit up tall. Bring your hands to your heart center, everybody. Namaskar. So thumbs at the middle of your sternum so that you can feel the beating of your heart, your active heart rate. Feel your heart that's worked so hard for you and you for it. And that's the symbiosis. That's the relationship that might just keep bringing you back to your yoga mat. That feeling of aliveness. And within all of us. Empty out your air. And then a full inhale for all things good. Let it fly anyway. <sighs> Eyes open. Gently swing your legs long out in the front of you. Try to get your hips more back for a seated forward fold. You can take your hands, scooch out the flesh out of the way so you're fully anchored on your sitting bones. You can keep a slight knee bend if that, if that helps you lengthen out your low back and then reach your arms all the way up for a staff pose. Inhale to send your ribs in all directions. Exhale, hinge from the hips, seated forward fold. A little knee bend allows you to keep that length in the low back, and maybe you grab a hold of your ankles, your toes. Start to feel for kicking your heels forward as you gently flex all 10 toes towards you so that you can enliven your ankles and your shins and calves as well as your hamstrings as they stretch. And then every inhale, can you get a little longer? Every exhale, fold a little deeper. Take one more cycle of breath. And then gently chin to throat. Roll your way up to a seated position. Keep the sitting bones rooted. Bend your knees. And then arms long out in front of you. Palms face each other. So with your feet fully planted on the ground, we're going to slowly roll down as slow as possible. So it's the last of the core work. You spread out the core work throughout. This is it. Pull in your low belly. Go as slow as you can. Not necessarily a competition, but maybe a personal challenge, right? So slow that you at least feel the vertebra separately connecting with the mat below you. Really nice. Good Francesca. And then everyone, as you lie down, this is it, the moment you've been working for. Savasana. Trust that you've done a whole lot. You have. I've seen it. And let your body just lie heavy. Close your eyes. Palms can face up in a gesture to receive this rest, which you very much deserve. If you'd prefer to bring a hand to your chest and feel that heartbeat, go ahead. The other hand lies on your tummy. And walk your shoulder blades closer together to create a shelf for the heart. And you can drift off. Keep an ear open. Let everything relax. So a feeling of sinking, the weight of your body down, down, down. Also kind of a feeling of floating. The breath will start to breathe itself. So you don't have to focus so much. And um, if you don't hear anything else, hear me say thank you. You guys have done such a fantastic job of just meeting yourself where you're at, right? I've been, I've been watching and making the choices that support you. 
And that's what this practice is, getting to know yourself. So thank you for connecting to this hour in which you explored yourself, right? You expressed yourself in these postures, in and out through breathing, really a connection of mind, body, and soul. Thank you. We are donation-based, always have, always will be. So what you can put into the donation link, which I'll share, is very much felt by all of us, keeps this yoga happening. If it's not $12, that's fine. It could be less, more. Um, you can also spread the word, that's a mighty help. Uh, telling friends about what we're doing, join in. Um, it's always accessible. We have five classes a day. And uh, other than that, our teacher training that starts May 29th, super, super exciting because um, everybody everywhere is going to join in together. We'll have uh, teachers from the West Coast, the East Coast involved, and Rosary Vaughn, of course. A lot of you know her. So um, you can stay after. I'd love to tell you some more details about that. But let's end with a quote of breath for now. Um, Paul McCartney, he said, and in the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make. And see out your air. Fullest breath, yeah. Feel the breath below in your belly. Climb up your ribs and scroll past your chest all the way into your throat. Hold it. Let it go. <sighs> You're free to stay here.